Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good time zone. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great time. Tonight, we're going to be in Star Trek. Haven't been here in a while. Uh, sorry I was a little late getting in. Had to get my coffee. <laughs> Just reheated some because didn't have much time to make another one. I slept a little longer too than I intended. We had a lot of fun today in Friends Day over on Fruity Spruce's channel. Uh, welcome in, Saito, Pope, Jude, Buno. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm at work. Thought I'd pop in and say hi. Gotta head back soon. No problem, Jude. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi. I hope today's work night is not difficult. Be safe, friend, and have a good evening. Poggy Woggies. The new business goose. Tiny fat shrimps are capable of sneezing. Huh. So when they sneeze poggy woggies, do they, uh, is that how they swim? They just keep sneezing? <laughs> I didn't even know they had nose. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't either. So, you know, learn something new already. Welcome in poggy woggies. I hope you're having a good day, friend. Hello, Sonaris. Welcome in, friend. Hope you are having a good day. Uh, you're probably at work as well, so be safe. Okay, the coffee's really hot. I have to be careful. <laughs> ah, coffee much hotter than I thought it was. So, you might notice on the behind me that we've got a different character on the screen if you've been here to my other uh, playthroughs of Star Trek Online. I normally play as a Ferengi, but tonight we're going to be trying out one of my other characters. I have a bunch of characters. I've uh, been playing this game since its launch, so every time a new expansion came out or a new storyline, I kind of just made new characters. <laughs> The current character that we'll start with today, her name is Raiden, and she's based on a race from the uh, Discovery storyline. Let me see if I can find her information. I don't remember if I typed information for this one. I don't think I did, but you, you'll probably recognize it. And they're a carrier captain. Uh, the coffee was cooked fresh in Gothos. <laughs> it's it's extremely hot coffee. Uh, my coffee pot is breaking down, so I have been forced to reheat, like, make the coffee and then heat it back up on the stove <laughs> to get it hot. I do have a metal, like, a tin pot thing that I can use to heat, so. Thank you for the head pads. <clears throat> Let me get some, uh drink here. But yes, so this is a carrier pilot. Uh, different play style, because Vintech, my original character, is a, a cruiser captain. Hello, Morgan. I hope you're having a good day, friend. Thank you for the lurk. I hope work goes well for you. It was very good to see you in Bioshock the other night. I had fun with that. Let me... It's like tradition on our channel that we shout each other out a hundred times. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll switch the screen over here in just a second. It's going to be a real casual night. If any of you want to see anything specific, uh, let me know. I don't really have anything scripted for tonight because there's no events and none that I know of. We'll, we'll look around and see what we can get into. I was going to do some random fights and get this character caught up. I never got to spend a lot of time on them, actually. I know I say that, and you see it's at max level, but... Uh, it doesn't take very long in this game to get to max level if you've already got a max level character. Because you get tons of goodies. Ooh, I have to put up my little chat block. Where, oh, where is the little... Aha. I found it. I have to put that up, because I don't trust the chat in the game. <laughs> the game itself is very, very friendly. <gasps> ah, 
I'm really glad you did that, Morgan, why I didn't have my coffee, because it's hot, and I would have thrown it. <laughs> I had a bunch of fun on Bioshock as well tonight. I get to check the save file. Oh, I know, I saw in the Discord. I really, really hope that you didn't lose much progress. I'm looking forward to you continuing it. I've got to help to save the, uh, the sisters, because everybody's voting against me in there. <laughs> Let it snow. Okay, we get snow in the middle of, uh, where am I? The Federation base. I think I'm still in the Federation base. It, it made me jump, Pope. I'm really, I just now picked up my coffee because it's on cool down. <laughs> See, big brain moment. I learned. I let one of you trigger uh, sound alert goat and then I, uh. Oh, that was close. It's not enough of a cooldown. I just put my cup down. <laughs> well, there went my big brain moment. I didn't think it could be played that close together. <laughs> I need to switch sound alerts out. <laughs> oh, this is bad. The whole beginning of Star Trek is a goat yelling. Heading back to work. Be safe, Jute. Have a good night. Oh, is it? It's the hollow. Uh, Carl, stop enabling hollow snow on the ESD. It's not even Christmas. <laughs> uh, welcome in, ID Gaming Federation. Coffee is life. Coffee is life. Well, for me. I do like tea as well, so don't, uh, don't think that I'm just a coffee fan. I do like tea. I like both. Pretty much in equal amounts. Oh, super woo. Welcome, friend. The cooldown's like 10 seconds. I, I didn't even know it was 10 seconds. I thought it was a lot longer. <laughs> Hello! Subaru! How are you doing, friend? I didn't even... I didn't know you were on. Likely because I was asleep. I kind of just rolled out of bed and got everything set up. I had barely enough time to get Star Trek set up. Hello! Welcome in. Uh, welcome Raiders. Thank you very much for the raid. I'm sure most of you know me, but I am your host, Tinsera, a 300-year-old night elf who likes to time travel and dimension hop. Uh, sadly, can't do that anymore because my machine is malfunctioning. It requires a vast quantity of steam power and magic. Your planet is lacking a bit of magic. So while I'm working out that detail, I am stuck here. And since I'm here, I've decided to entertain and learn about your people. And I've made many friends here on Twitch. Just so you know, it is a PG channel. Uh, please refrain from adult language or themes. Thank you, and please enjoy the show. If you have to get up and stretch and hydrate, please do so. I know you've been in Subaru's room for a while. And thank you for joining us, and thank you Subaru for the wade. It's, uh, oh, Queen. Hello, Queen. How are you doing, friend? I want to give you a shout-out, friend, because I know you just came back. Uh, I don't know if your schedule's regular yet, but I'm giving Queen a shout-out because they just came back to streaming. They've been on a little break, and we had a lovely night in Ratchet and Clank the other night. It was very fun. I've not seen The Rift, so that was a, a very, very cute game to see. I need to pick that one up. It looked very fun. You did some Onward. Did you uh, have some successful missions, Subawu? You don't have a schedule yet, Queen? Well, that's fine, friend. People can go over and follow you for when you do come up. I just know that you took a break, and I wanted to make sure that people here knew that you were kind of coming back to it. Queen is a lovely person. If you want to check out a nice variety streamer, head over there and follow them. That uh, was quite a fun time this round. Got some really entertaining games going. <gasps> oh, good. Uh, are you publishing your VODs? I'd catch up, because I know the last time you didn't have the VOD up. Other words, tell me all about it in the Discord, please. 
<laughs> oh, I'll, while we're sitting here talking, I'll put the ship on the screen. Because uh, I know I have some enthusiasts in here that like Star Trek and like to discuss the ships. This is actually one of the new ships, by the way. I got it in a, a three-pack. It was a very good deal. It came with three carriers. And yes, it's a Romulan ship, but I repurposed it for my own use. Hello, Blaze Spectre. How are you doing? I hope well. And I hope you're having a good night, friend. Star Trek. It's Star Trek. Oh, that's cute. It's Star Trek. Welcome to my Star Trek show. Uh, thanks for mentioning VODs. I just realized I need to upload mine. Yeah, you better do that, Morgan, and make sure your save file's not damaged. I need to keep seeing Bioshock. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do that now because it's more for those who miss out. Yes, the, uh, the VODs are a perfect way to get caught up with your friends. I will say most people don't watch more than the last three. As far as I can tell, after the three VODs, they pretty much don't get views. But, you know, that's it's mostly just people checking up on you to see what your last few moments were of your stream. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, your mouth is burning my mouth. Hot sauce on my taco? Oh, oh. Oh, and she hit it? Really? Unfortunate, Blaze. <laughs> However, uh, your title, your name is now correct, right? You're blazing? Haha. <laughs> ID Gaming Fashion. Is this the Xbox or PS4? That interface is unknown to my uh, filthy PC master race eyes. <laughs> this is the PS4, friend. Uh, I forgot that the interface does look a good deal different on the computer. Uh, your screen shows a lot more information. And the PC, the PC players are not filthy and neither are the console. It's a matter of choice and what equipment you have available to you. This game is available on the Xbox, PlayStation 4, and PC. It is a bit different on the PC version, to be expected since they have mouse and keyboard control. Just lots and lots and lots and lots of gunfire. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you can highlight through it. I now identify as Dragon. Okay, that's good to know, Blaze. Blaze the Dragon. Breathing fire because they've ingested um, hot sauce. Uh, but yes, this is a... What was the uh, the original ship is actually called a Radonira support carrier warbird. Um, it's a very very big crew. I'm hoping to show it to you here in just a minute. Sorry, I get carried away. That's why Chatty is in the tags, or it should be, because I talk way more than I play games. <laughs> uh, where do I go? You know, we can look for a battle actually in space, and you'll see the discovery beam out. Because this is a Discovery character. Uh, I built this when they launched the Discovery campaign. I think I'm not even done with it. Hello, John. How are you doing, friend? Welcome in. I hope your night is well. Uh, it was a pleasure to see you beat the um, boss. John Barry is a fellow Dragoon player as well as one of our mods. And the other night, they caught up to the story where we are on our story, and they did a fantastic job beating the boss. At one point, so much was happening. <laughs> well, it is a military game, Subu. Uh, I just got hit by an ad for blue light blocking eye health gummies. What kind of magic is that? I have no idea, ID. I've never seen any of the commercials on my channel. That sounds like a new one. Not really sure what that is. Jay, welcome in, friend. How are you doing tonight? I hope well. 
I has all the friends here. We're, oh, that's right, you were having an Animal Crossing last night. I missed it because uh, I was in a Minecraft session in Discord, and then before I knew it, it was time for work. I missed a good bit last night. Oh, here you go. You guys can see how big the ship is. Uh, for reference, this is actually... I'm really glad I pulled in here, because for reference, uh, one of the Enterprises is above me. Hold on. Where's my zoom in? Uh, change the cycle. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, so if you want to know how big this ship is, <laughs> the, the ship above me, I believe, is one of the Enterprises from the movie. And that was not a small ship by any means. So that's how big this ship is. I believe it has three decks of hangar carriers on it. What am I next to an escort? Oh, geez, there's an escort here. Hold on. Can I get it in the picture? Eh, that's a cruiser, actually. It's a, uh, it's the Charger. Oh, that's a really good shot of that. <laughs> it's like right out of the movie. I think that's a Miranda. I'll try not to be mean and bump into them, although this thing pilots like a whale. Uh, what button was it? It's going to take me a minute. I haven't played a carrier in a long time. Where are my... I'll show you some of the ships we carry. Okay, here you go. So, you know the uh, Cardassian ship that I pilot? Where is it? I just launched one. <laughs> it's below me. Is it below me? Yep, there it is. So there's a smaller version of my ship. It's a frigate. I'm passing over it. That's one of my pets. My neighbors called the cops, caused I screamed so loud when the hot sets hit. <laughs> oh no, Blaze. Oh no. Well, drink some, uh, if you're allowed to drink milk, that's a good way. Any, um, any substance that is thick, so like milk or soy sauce, uh, that's like hot soy sauce, soy milk, soy milk, almond milk, uh, that's cold and is thick in texture will help cool your mouth off. Oh my god, sound alerts. I can't drink my coffee because Morgan is determined to make me drop it. Zeth says hi. Ah, tell her I said hi. I hope she's doing well as, as well. I got to catch her in some Pokemon this morning before I had to jet out. <coughs> oh no. I can't drink my coffee. It's all the goat noises. <laughs> That's what my stream has turned into. A goat screaming in the background while I fly a ship. <laughs> oh dear. Indeed, Jay. Oh dear. I screamed like Vegeta going into Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. Oh my. <laughs> rocket Punch. I'm shocked that uh, nobody played the Rocket Punch for you. Giggles. <laughs> oh, that was Blaze's scream. Actually, yeah, Blaze probably sounded something close to that. Uh, for those of you who came in and missed it. Rocket punch. <laughs> Thank you, Federation. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who came in and missed it, uh, Blaze, their wife, made them a taco and put hot sauce on it and then proceeded to hide it. <laughs> Which, I should not laugh, but that is comical. I've had my friends do similar things because they know that I react badly to uh, extreme heat that isn't wasabi. Ooh, there's one of the Borg ships. You know, while I'm flying around, uh, before I forget... I had plans to do at least one thing, which is to entertain with some fights, uh, random battles. I haven't been in the ship in so long. I want to go somewhere where I can test it. Uh, Bork disconnected normally gets a hit. Days of Doom is a little hard. Uh, defensive Starbase 1, also easy to queue up. I don't know how loud the sound's going to be, because when you're here um, 
above Earth. It's very quiet and peaceful, so it tends to be anyway, unless you're playing the storyline. I'm off to bed uh, weekend and planning on VRC with Catlin to get some time in. Until then, good night, everyone. Have a lovely stream. Thank you, Subaru, for the raid. Have a lovely night, friend. Sleep well. Uh, I'll get to you in Discord. See if I can't join in the VRC with you later. Buffalo Wild Wings has a Carolina Reaper wing sauce that I had. It was so hot. That just sounds hot. The name actually sounds like it would burn. So, yeah, I don't, I don't wouldn't want that. And just to uh, say, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Implosion was loud as heck. Most of the, the little bit of that show that I've seen plays, every time they do something, it's kind of loud. <laughs> They're always screaming about one thing or another. It's a fun show. I just never get to watch it very much. That's interesting. I wonder if they made the other, the old Starbase. You can actually see it a lot better. Hold on. I don't normally notice it. They did something to it, because it used to be really hard to see it. And there's our beautiful planet. Oh, the dry dock over here. Well, there's nothing in this area. But that, I think that's the old dry dock. Isn't this interesting? I never came over here. <laughs> Years of playing the game, and I don't believe I've ever been over on this side. But I think that's the original space dock. Before they built the big behemoth one over there. Or is this just a side repair yard? This is probably just a regular old repair yard. Maybe for the outdated ships. Wow, is nobody... There must not be anybody doing random battles tonight. Typically, I get a battle by now. Goku's dialogue is... Ha! Ah. <laughs> uh, Jay, you like spicy food? You know, I believe you said that in stream one time. I was in your room, and I think you had said that you actually do like hot sauce. Because I think you were playing that game where you had to collect hot sauce. Oh god, it's a sauce powder in my eye. No! You might want to go and wash that off quickly. If you can get to a sink, I would. He's currently screaming. Oh, okay. Somebody else is typing for Blaze. Um... Blaze is having a, a, a time of it. Mr. Watts. Hello, friend. How are you doing? Wanted to come uh, by from Cats and say hi. You're awesome and adorable. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, thank you, Mr. Watts. Much appreciated. Uh, I thank you for coming by, saying hi. Tell Cat I said hi. I'm actually lurking in their room right now on my phone. <laughs> I woke up and I saw they were on. Uh, I meant to be over there to talk, but I slept in. Well, I don't think there's any random fights going, so we're going to warp to Sector and find one. I'd really like it if I could put the Discovery sound on every single one of my ships. I love it. Nothing wrong with the classic warp sound, but I that's one thing I do like about the show Discovery. Uh, they got the warp sound effect really good. Is this I will not be allowed to play games tonight? There's no random fights anywhere. That's all the way in the other sector. Oh, well, this is despairing. I was hoping to get into a battle for everyone, but it appears either nobody is queuing for event battles... Oop, that's as much as I can zoom out on this map. Hmm, suspicious. I don't think so. I think there, if 
Unless they changed something. It used to be you could zoom really out. Oh, I guess that's as far out as you can go on here. All right, let's go to the next sector and see if there's anything over there. Oh, here we go. Finally, Borg disconnected. I was beginning to get concerned. It normally doesn't take that long. All right, I'm back and in tears. What did my dumb friend say? Uh, you can scroll up to see. I think still be in the chat. But they just said that you were screaming <laughs> because you got hot sauce powder in your eyes. <laughs> Zethi, welcome, friend. How are you doing? Let me... Oh, well, that's not going to do anything at all. See, Zeth, you're not the only one who does that. I think you all have seen me play this at least once or twice. We have to rescue the good guy Borgs. It's really nice, because uh, that actually is Seven of Nine's voice. Uh, these battles are quite interesting. I would launch all my carrier pets, but they sometimes have a hard time catching up to me. So I'll wait until I get there. I don't know if I can do one all by myself, but I was really hoping someone else would come to this side. The good news is, oh, here we go. I do have uh, a Federation ship coming. That's very good. As soon as I get my swarm up, we'll be all right. It just takes a minute. This ship is pretty fun because it just basically likes to park and hide, or not hide, it just parks and directs combat. It's a command ship. Hence why I funnel all the power on the ship to auxiliary, because I just like to command all the other little ships and let them do the combat. We do have uh, scorpion fighters, I think, and a Cardassian frigate on here. I'm going to try and help free all the good guy board and simply pick on anything else that gets too close. <laughs> it's kind of funny because once you have a full squadron of these guys out, you don't really do a whole lot. I'm glad to see it still works that way. I was afraid maybe they had taken that away. Uh-oh, that board cube's gonna go up. I'm gonna back up. I'm still gonna get hit by it, but... Ooh, shields took a hit on that. Uh, I think I can get quantum absorption next, though. And then that'll help. It does have the Romulan uh, abilities, which is nice. So far, none of my pets have gone down. Oops, one of our friends went down. I don't know where that's at. I'll order them over there to help with that. It's hard to see them, but my pets are over there damaging it. That's why there's yellow numbers. Oh, not anymore. They'll get called back. One of them actually did get blown up. Oh, that's sad. Launch more. It's kind of funny because in this game, they don't really punish you for launching lots and lots of ships. <laughs> you don't lose them. You just have to wait until the recharge. I have to back up. That's not the best place to sit when you've got four cubes exploding on you. And I'd prefer not to get run over by the friendly board cube coming through. There we go. Where are my pets? I think they flew off after... No, no, no. They got recalled. 
Uh, on the PC version, you can actually forcefully recall your guys. I don't think there's a way to do that on the console, sadly. That cube might be a problem. Go get it. Issue an order for the pets to go after it. One of the things that really helps is the, uh, from the Cardassian set, I do use this net that deploys drones around the ship. We're sitting in the car listening, so I figured I'd join in. <laughs> oh, are you guys on your way to some place? $50 says, Zeth bullies me today. I don't know. That sounds like a quick uh, $50. Thank you for the shout out. Uh, I'm sick, so no bully today, Blaze. You're safe. Oh, you're not feeling well still? I'm sorry. Uh, banished to the couch, because that was absolute baloney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're probably still laughing about it. No, 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 no. Don't come near me. I'm sitting here talking with chat. This is a good ship for this. You know, I should probably play this ship all the time just because I can sit here and talk with chat and not worry about it. <gasps> oh, gotta get the test. Well, good luck, friend. Hopefully that'll come back negative and it's just a cold... I mean, it is the time of the year for colds. Oh, I didn't get to use my Romulan ability. This other player that's up here has been just decimating. What are they? I don't know what they are. I'll heal them, though, if I get a chance. Oh, they're too far away at the moment. They're coming back. I have some hills I can stick on them. That'll also heal their pet that's nearby. I think they summoned a ship. Uh, there's two of those guys up. Ooh, that thing bit the dust. That's fine. Down below, I think it's right on the bottom corner of the screen. You can just barely see my, uh, the pet's life bar. It's right next to my arm. There should be six little fighters and two frigates. If you see one of them go down, it's probably time to reload them. I'd like it if they didn't get blown up, though. They level. <laughs> Not the most interesting battle, but I was hoping to get one of the more... This battle's a defense battle, so basically the best thing to do is to just stay still, collect the good guys, and... Especially in the very beginning. If you see me in Zeth's stream, I have a mouth. Well, oh, yes, I have, Blaze. <laughs> so, I thank you and appreciate that you, uh, you hold yourself together here. Especially when your mouth is on fire from, uh, taco sauce. I did mine earlier doing his nail. Like, I'm fine, but you never know. Well, that's, yeah, it's a good thing to go and get it. Especially... If you guys were having colds, you never know now. I just hope whatever state you're in, they're not charging you guys for that. I'm detecting something on an intercept course. Oh, they got the rift? No charge? Good, good. Oh, we've engaged the enemy finally? Something actually attacked me. A small probe. The pets didn't like that. Uh, the Voth will be coming soon, so I'm going to reposition the big ship. Because there's lots of, like, bombs and stuff that will be coming. If I remember this particular battle. Okay, I rescued that one. Uh, a lot of people do this fight wrong. They just try to fight, and they don't realize the most important, in my opinion, the most important aspect to get marks is to save as many of the Borg as uh, possible. The good guy Borg. Like, this player's definitely got it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think this is the last wave. Let me see. 
There's a cutscene that specifically tells you that you're in the last. I think that's it. The Vault have a ship designed to fight for. Okay, this is all of them. The now I kind of have to be a little more aggressive because they're going to shoot. Um, it's like little torpedoes. What? We got 15 of 15. That better be a completion. Please tell me I can get that. I did. I was like, please let me have the gravity well up there. That'll be useful. Ooh. That is a very uh, mean ship right above me. I didn't trigger the hate game, did I? Full power to engines, because this thing is trying to trap me. That's unfortunate. The pets got me out of it, but it hurt. I thought I got rid of the, um... Which one is disrupting me? This is gets a little confusing because there's a lot going on in the last wave, as you might expect. It's the last part before the boss fight. Okay, I should be in a position to help with the ships again. I need a repair. That will also heal my pets because I have an ability that passes hills to the pets. See, I wanted to be in a position to help them. I mean, I think the Federation ship's doing okay. Let me check them. If not, I can get over there, maybe. Cleanse off the hate. Oh, I know what ability I'm missing. Where's the captain ability? Uh, for threaten. I'm going to put that on. That would probably explain why my pets were getting blown up. I didn't have the uh, provoke ability on. <laughs> Thought I did. Uh, I knew it was going to take me a while to get used to this. I haven't played it in a long time. I saw that blue item and couldn't help it. Oop, I lost the pet. Just one of them. But they've got to fight a warp shadow fleet, so... <laughs> Romulan ships are a lot of fun, because you could do real funny things like that. Oh, did my friend go down that was over here? No, they're still... Their names were similar. It started with an M. And I was lurking in Subway. Subaru's stream and just realized they raided. Oh, welcome in, Buno. Not a problem, friend. I saw you come in, actually. Do we have any more to save? I don't know. Or did I DC? No, I didn't DC. <gasps> oh, the pets are all hurt. I'll fix that. I almost didn't see this. There's stream elements. The collective will not fall. Uh, thank you, I know it's... <laughs> stream elements is just being you like, be Blaze, I know you're in here. <laughs> it follows you. It knows. <gasps> Sethi, thank you, friend, for the cheer. Three you returned the corgi. One another. This is your chance. That was for you. You were supposed to keep that. <laughs> this is our chance. Oh. I'm busy looking at chat and uh, boss fight. I'm not really sure which one they're attacking, but... Ugh, the ship, it turns so slow. I have to throw everything back into engines or I will not make it there. I have to ignore the queen. They're like, why is that carrier not helping us? I'm sorry guys, I'm coming.
There we go. Now that we can force some damage onto that, finally. I feel bad, though, because I don't think we're going to get the timer for it. I'll try. Oh, that ship uh, that we're fighting, very nasty. That ship right there can kill all my pets in about one hit. I'm gonna try to just park on it and keep it from moving because I have a couple abilities to do that. My power levels keep getting drained out by it. Oh, there we go. I might go down because of the uh, damage here. Ow. Ooh, every shield I had triggered, and that almost wasn't enough. Uh, yeah, we didn't get the timer. I know, game, I know. I did it wrong. the tractor beams up yet? I need those. Yeah, we did get them though, so that's good. How are you, Sarah? Hope you got some sleep. Yes, welcome in, Fruity. How are you doing, friend? I hope you got some rest as well. We won! I almost got distracted and we didn't, but we did win. Oh, that's right, I get my choice. I don't know what I want. Those. I don't ever get them. Yes, Fruity, I am fine. I know, you were worried about me in my sleep. I am completely fine. I recovered. Our dear friend Fruity hosted Friends Day today, and we played Minecraft. And we tried to do a speed run. <laughs> And, well, you know what? We, we speed run, you know, not beating the game, but we sped around and ran. No, no, Fruity, it's, it's speed and run. <laughs> we did a speed and run because we were running away from everything at the beginning of the game. <laughs> That's the spirit, yeah. We successfully did something along the lines of a speed run, but it was good fun. Kasher joined us, and it was very fun. I will definitely do it again. Uh, where are we? That's a good question, right? All the kids are asking, when are we going to get there? I don't know, because I'm not sure where we're at. We're going over to the other quadrant. It has to load a new uh, galaxy map. I don't know, did I ever come over here while I've been on stream? I'm looking for a nice little, just fights, random battles to get engaged in. We're exploring. We're boldly going where no man has gone before. Not really, because uh, this all takes place in the original Star Trek and they've been everywhere. <laughs> I do like this ship though. I like the way it looks. It's a little boring to pilot because the um, pets do all the work. But if you play an MMO and you're used to being a summoner or a necromancer or a wizard that has pets, uh, this is the ship that would be most similar to that playstyle. It's one of the types of ships anyway that's very similar. I don't know, maybe we'll make a new character and just do the storyline. <gasps> that battle disappeared. The little red dot I was trying to go for, that was a battle and it disappeared. They just don't want me to have fun tonight. I don't even see any battles on here. Well, I'll have to queue up another TFO and hope some people want to get interested in it. Unknown Nebula. Unknown Nebula. I'll go there. We're close. Uh, Endgame. Join TFO. 
I've, I don't think anyone plays this anymore. It must have gotten hard. No one plays the hard battles anymore. Uh, which is sad, because they're the fast ones. Like, Pearl over Pavo isn't bad, but it's slow. Storming the Spire is rough. That's rough. I wouldn't mind doing this with a faster ship. Not this one. Uh, swarm isn't bad. Can I do Swarm? I might be able to do Swarm. I don't want to... Well, I can't do Borg Disconnected. It's on a cooldown. Days of Doom. I think that one's actually a little rough. And... No one plays Atmospheric Assault, which is sad. I like that one. <gasps> We're almost to the Unknown Nebula. What is this? Unknown Nebula, reveal yourself. It's just for materials. I think it's a material. Yes, crafting materials. Ooh. I almost forgot to play the sound wave. Hydrazine gas. Oh, I got a, another one for swarm. Okay, so some people are playing. They're just real picky about what they're playing tonight. That's fine. We'll find some other battles. <clears throat> I mean, if worse comes to worse, if I can't find any battles, we, maybe we'll just create a new character and do storyline. Odo, I miss Odo. Give them a power boost to bring them back online. Uh, Be wary. Herc scouts are searching. Deep Space Nine was totally my favorite. Work quickly. If you're on, around in chat, put up soon. what. What was your favorite Star Trek? If you have one. I know there's some people who probably don't watch Star Trek, but I think even then, some people still have a favorite for, um, like, what their favorite memes are or uh, the cartoons, something. I, I really like Deep Space Nine. That was really close to my heart. I love Deep Space Nine. And then I'd say my second favorite was Voyager uh, because Janeway is amazing. Only female captain. Just absolutely amazing. Let's go protect the convoy. Can I send power and fight? I hope so, because I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'll try it anyway. How about that? Get out. Get out. I own this area right now. Or I'm trying to. I'll let my pets deal with everything. I think I should do pretty good here. Uh, swarm is, as the name says, you fight like lots of little bug things. Uh, that's the spirit. The one we watched with... Cache, that's my favorite Star Wars. Okay, um, good to know. Uh, Fruity's favorite Star Trek is Battlestar Galactica. Because <laughs> we haven't watched Star Trek <laughs> in Cache's room. Good to know, Fruity. You like Battlestar Galactica. Oh, Queen, you liked Voyager. Good. That's a good pick. How could you not like Janeway and the whole idea of like lost in space? It, to me, it really appealed to me because of that whole lost in space kind of thing. Because they were clear on the other side of the galaxy. Well done. The Jem'Hadar will help you deal with the Herc. Thank goodness, because there's going to be a lot of them. I'm staying here in this lane because I know what'll happen. I'll move, and as soon as I move out of this lane, they'll appear here. Hello, Jem'Hadar attack ship. Oh, jeez, look at all my uh, little ships everywhere. Really? Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. I think my pets got this. I think so. 
full spread on the torpedoes because, uh, yeah, they're everywhere. Oops, I forgot to set up that I'm a tank. Shame on me, chat has to remind me that. I should make a, some special commands for this, I suppose. Because technically, I'm actually a tank on this. <laughs> That's why I have all these fancy little defense abilities. You've never watched any Star Trek, Fruity? I mean, I'll cut you some slack. You, you're over, the, over in the island, so maybe they don't air it as often. I have only seen a handful of the original series in TNG, uh, then the first reboot movie. You know, I know there's fans of it, so I'm not trying to upset. I just didn't care for the reboot. I know there's people who really adored it, but I was not into the reboot. And I guess that's because I grew up with uh, the classics. Okay, guys, if you want to attack me, then come closer. Because I have to gravity well all of you. I didn't even lose anything in that, did I? Uh, no. Hey, are you guys safe and sound? Yes, you're safe and sound. You may pass freely because you are a friend. Unless Odo tells me to shoot you, I will not. <laughs> I only do what Odo tells me to do. Oh, jeez, they dropped that ambush right there at the back door. It didn't matter. I mean, that was very bad timing. Those, uh, the good guy ships threw, flew at, through my healing ray, so they just got killed for free. And their capital ship happened to be sitting right in my torpedoes. That wasn't ideal for them. Where's the Dreadnought, though? That would be fun to go pick on, wouldn't it? No, I can't, because they're sending good guys up through here. Go, my minions. I don't like that. There we go. Uh, see, it's a good thing I didn't move. They took the Dreadnought down in like a few seconds. I don't even think it stood up to them. Uh, those are reverse tractor beams I've been using. In case you're wondering, because these things will attach to your ship and they're mean. I've not... Um... Let me see. You're going to have to show me the Star Treks and... Jar Jar Binks throughout it. I can do that. We could totally do a Star Trek viewing. Maybe in Discord at some point? I wouldn't mind. Oops. Shockwave. They got on me. They're not supposed to get close to me, but they did. How's my team doing? Do they need a heal? Uh, no. Like, nobody's taking any damage. All I gotta do is get rid of negative effects. Yeah, there we go. I cleansed off the negative effects for the team. Uh, my universal's on cooldown. I'll restart the engine abilities. This next two uh, convoys look okay. Okay, we're good. I can go back to the chat here for a second. Ooh, those torpedoes are mean. Not having played this, it's very hard for me to uh, parse what's going on. I'll admit I only saw the remakes. Uh, I do apologize, I know. 
Streaming this game, I have a lot of fun in this game personally, but I guess if you've never played it, it would be confusing. I try to relate it to MMOs. When people don't know what's going on, I say, uh, just give me an example in an MMO you've played and I can probably figure out a way to describe it. I didn't see that my other carrier ship there was hurt. I'll fix that. But just like in any MMO, <clears throat> um, Fruity, currently I'm w considered a tank. Yes, kind of. Tank slash uh, summoner. Or a pet class like a Beastmaster class. Oh no, get your garbage away from me. You're going to explode on me. But it's a command ship, so it's considered a uh, healer, tank, a little of everything. I mostly do storyline, uh, so it's not the most competitive build that there is. And currently we're in what would be a random uh, dungeon with other players. Ooh, that thing's shields were down and it just, that was, well, done deal there. Where did my other guy go? He's so damaged. I have no idea. It ran off and I'm not really sure where it went. I can see it's really hurt, but I can't find it. Oops, I think it just blew up. Yes, this is a tanky support ship, so engaging the enemy directly in combat, not normally a good idea. It's very slow, hard for me to turn around. Uh, I'm a big target. And actually, it's kind of a squishy ship, because you have to invest so much of your parts into making those fighter pets good. You can see I only have a handful of lasers. Uh, two torpedo launchers and a couple lasers, not... The phasers on this are just not that great. I can pick off smaller ships that are interfering like other fighters, enemy fighters. I think we're winning anyway. Yeah, we won. Our, our area is guarded. I think the only thing left to do now is clean them up. I'll just bully them around a little. These guys are weak at the last part. Yay! And all my pets survived. Huh, that's crazy. Well, that went really well. I do apologize, though, because I understand if you're not familiar with any MMO, you might get lost watching this. It's indeed fun, but it's kind of confusing in the space battles. Do I need gamma? I think I do need gamma marks. I'll take those. Thank you, Scenaris. But uh, I wanted to answer a few things in there. You only saw the remakes, John? That's fine. I, I think right now, currently, um, most people have only probably seen the remakes these days. So, I mean, the TV shows, except for Discovery, are rather old. Um, like Spock was good. Yeah, the original Star Treks, oh, they're the best. Uh, I can, well, I do rewatch them. I watch the original Star Treks regularly. <laughs> Especially Trouble with Tribbles. I love that episode. It is my favorite episode. If you don't know what Trouble with Tribbles is, look it up. That's a good one. I think the only episode of Star Trek ever that I liked more than it was Little Green Men. Oh, there's one for you, Alien. Uh, Jay, you'd like that one. Little Green Men. 
That was a good episode of Deep Space Nine. San agrees. San likes uh, Star Trek. Well, Little Green Men, Jay dealt with the Ferengi. It's a whole episode about the Ferengi. I won't spoil it in case anybody wants to go and look it up, but basically they go back in time and they land at Roswell. And you can kind of defer what the rest of the story is like from there. They were going to Earth for uh, Nog's graduation, I think, from the Federation. And accidentally hit like a time hole and they get placed on Earth in the past during the Roswell incident. It was very funny. At least I found it funny. Let's see, which system do we want to go to? Yeah, I guess we'll head to Deep Space Nine for a moment. We're just waiting on random fights. Yeah, it's a really interesting universe. If you've watched, uh, you said you watched the first, the original with Captain Kirk and Spock. So if you've seen that, the next in line, I believe is Generations. The next generation. And then you would want to watch um, Deep Space Nine and then Voyager. And then I think all the movies, most of them happen after. Oh, I agree, Queen Faley. Completely. Uh, I actually have a their toy autographed by them. I'll have to take a picture. I'll put it in Discord for you guys. I can never spell their name right. I will put it up there. I know. Here you go. So. Da, da, da. I'll put this in the chat because this is actually the actor's name. I just never say it or type it right. But they're, uh, they're a lovely person. There we go. There's Deep Space Nine. You guys want to know where, like, it's a little out of proportion, but that's actually where the wormhole Deep Space Nine and the um, Bajor solar system is. We'll probably go there and sit. I like sitting there. Uh, Kurt couldn't figure out how to drive a stick shift in one of them, and they went back in time. I remember that, Scenarius. That was a really fun episode, too. I guess it still holds true. Most people don't know how to drive a stick shift. Deep Space Nine, there we go. My favorite show. I come here and hang out a lot because it is one of the social areas of the game. Of course, uh, we're a carrier, so if we were in the TV show, we would not be allowed to dock with it. We'd have to sit above it. Uh, we would be up here. I don't think that station can accommodate a ship of this size. A ship this size did go to Deep Space Nine, but they had to take shuttle, I believe, or teleport. I think they used both. They uh, teleported and used shuttlecraft to go down. Was waiting for the wormhole to open. I love that. I do have a shuttle on there. <laughs> but yeah. Erman Shimmerman, I have their autograph on uh, an action figure of Quirk because they're one of my favorite characters in Star Trek. Am I facing the wrong way? Normally by now I've seen the wormhole open. We'll probably go down there in a bit. Ooh, that's pretty. I always like the sun here as well because it highlights the ship's neat. You can see a lot of other players come here to just hang out. 
Oh, is that a player or is that mine? That actually... Nope, that's a player. That's a player too, right? Yeah, lots of battle cruisers. I think they just gave away a battle cruiser. Okay, so we've been streaming for about an hour. I'm going to take a break, and I'm thinking about switching games. I haven't decided yet. Because there's not very many people on tonight on Star Trek. I don't really have any, uh... There's not many missions to do, unless you guys think that we should try and start a new character. I had thought about doing a playthrough through the entire STO storyline. Because it's a very good storyline, and they updated it. Oop, there goes the player. Somebody's off. On a mission. I probably still have Christmas events in here. Ooh, I don't want to get all of those done. They do have a card game in here. That's what I'm looking at right now. It's, uh, well, not a card game. But you play offline with the duty officers. Which are... They're cards. And they represent the normal rank and file of your ship. And they have their own little missions that they do while you're offline. Oh, I earned a new officer. I don't think I need them, though. They're a human officer. They don't fit my team. I think I can recruit them. Beam there. Last chance to earn progress in the event. I didn't get to finish that event. I have to see what it takes. Uh, sadly, I think it's Lobby. And that's very expensive. Until February 2nd. That's what we have until that event finishes. Their screen's not working right. Eh, there we go. And we're on Deep Space Nine for a minute. Oh, let's see, we've been streaming for an hour. I'm going to take a short break, and when I get back, I don't know, we might switch games. We'll see. But everybody should get up, hydrate, drink, um, stretch, walk around, get a snack, and I will be back in a couple minutes.
I'm back. Trying to figure out what we'll get into. Oh, had a good stretch. Got care of the human things. It's important to do self-care. Legis is memeing in Gold Room and still winning. <laughs> uh, that's fun. Well, I'm glad they're in gold. Uh, it's Jade's the highest, right? Gold Room is right below it. That's very tough. That's difficult. Uh, let me see if I can't fetch. I'm trying to figure out what we should do next. I was hoping there'd be events on. Oh, that's sad. It is a hard game. I don't even remember what I was re- Oh, I should have checked that. I thought it was on my other character. Ground and projectile is good. It stays on the screen for a second. I forgot. I was trying to get my ground weapons up. This character, when they're on the ground, is also the same uh, when they're in space. They use lots of pets and things. Gadgets, equipment, pets. And all of this is a bit different from the PC version, so if you start playing it on the PC, uh, it looks a lot different. They simplified a few things for console. Research. Oop, I got one more, and I can only do three of the same. Just do that one. I'm going to see if we can't get another TFO, which is a uh, team, is it called Team Random Battle? Task Force. That's what it is. Task Force Battles. If I can't find one, because it's kind of a light day on here. If I can't find a good one, then we'll do something else. If nothing else, I can always switch to just chatting for a bit. I'd hoped it was going to be busier tonight. I'm actually testing something because I scheduled this and I wanted to see how much interest there was in Star Trek if it got a um, permanent timeline. In the last, the last time that we played Star Trek, I put a poll up and I asked the chat if they wanted to see this as a permanent rotation and everybody said yes. So I was like, well, we'll try it. We'll put it on Thursdays and see what happens. I don't know what else to try. We've done the other two. There's a couple that I like. Oh, well, Romulan Minefield's interesting. I don't think my big ship is appropriate for it, but it might work. Storming the Spire is very hard because you have to constantly switch targets. <laughs> Although, you know, it would be fun to try that with this ship. I might try that one. Quirk Spar. Uh-oh. Oh, I shouldn't be in this thing. I always waste all my money for Latinum. Spin the wheel and win. I'm going to try. Let me see. I don't like that. Well, I like the number, but not for this round. What other ones? I can't. That's right. You can't go more than 12 out. Let's bet a thousand. I can't place the bet. They're in the middle of a wheel spin out. There we go. I think there's even a higher, but I don't know. I'll never even get to gold. Oh, whoosh, Broody. You play just fine. I like Star Trek, but there's nothing you can do if nobody else is playing, though. Yeah, it's a very slow night on Star Trek. I can't seem to get anybody interested in random fights. Oh, I won some. 
Uh, it's only mainly because nobody bid against the number. I'll place again. They won't expect me to place the same numbers, will they? <laughs> you know, the funny thing is in uh, the show Deep Space Nine, this table is rigged. So I don't know why I'm playing on it. <laughs> I'm playing on a rigged table. Although Lita uh, tells you in the storyline that it's not rigged anymore. <gasps> oh, that was a really, really good payout. 2,000, 4,000, 1,000. Yep, they didn't expect me to play the same numbers. I'll take that. I'm bowing out. Quirk would be mad at me because I just left with all of their latinum. I'm going to talk to Morn real quick. That's Morn from the TV show. They were a regular on Deep Space Nine, kind of a joke character, but people liked Morn, even though they never said anything really. Like, so you can ask Morn. Morn, I re could really use your advice. Morn looks at you a long moment and then returns his attention to his glass. Really? I never thought about it that way. <clears throat> Got any gossip? Morn rattles the ice in his drink. Where have you been all this time? <gasps> I've never done that before. Morn looks off into the distance, wondering where to begin. Oh, that's funny. He swirls his drink as he prepares his amazing tale. <gasps> no, they're not going to tell us. Hours later. Because <laughs> uh, they'd never let you see Morn talk. Oh my gosh. He gives you a knowing nod and returns his attention to the bar. Well, our character knows what Morn did. But nobody else. Oh, and still nobody's here. I can wait in space for the other. Yeah, there's nobody on Deep Space Nine. It's like, uh, it's right after a big Christmas event. Maybe all, they're all Star Trekked out. Very likely, Fruity. Oh, there's the wormhole opened. I was waiting for a battle. It's not happening. And even when I go out to the main map, there hasn't been any fights. So there's just a lot like nobody's playing it tonight. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. I could always switch off to something else. I have plenty of other games to play. It just wasn't to be today. Outside uh, <clears throat> storyline battles, I don't think there's a way for me to get into a TFO without other people. Yeah, they're still on. They're just not working. What's the main one for today? Let me check. Uh, okay, there isn't one for personal endeavors. Herc frigates. I almost finished that. Anti-proton damage. I don't use that on this character. I'd have to go to the other character. I think I will go to the change character scene. Since there's not a whole lot going on, I could check the other characters. Uh, not really sure.
I have Klingon characters too. I've, I told you I've been playing this game for a very, very long time. Ooh, I haven't played that character for a while. It's my cat person. And yes, there's cat people in this game. Uh, what MMO doesn't have cat people? The carrier is not very fun to watch anyway. This character is actually uh, an escort pilot, so... They basically fly the things that the other ship launches. They're a pretty good character. I had a whole backstory for them. I did that for all my characters. Uh, that's their ship. The Redeemer. I don't know why it doesn't have the other two consoles yet. Quantum Warhead module. Well, that's interesting. I was pretty sure... Did I upgrade this? I don't remember upgrading it. It just has two extra consoles I forgot about. I think they updated this ship, because I don't remember it getting the extra spot there. I don't have any tactical consoles. Oh, for shame. I probably don't have anything secretly stored aside, do I? Okay. Uh, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll find some random fights out here. I probably should have gone with my original idea and just made a new character so that we could all see the storyline. Ooh, they need to fix their screen. This is a much smaller ship. It's far more maneuverable. But yeah, the Cation in this game are cat people, so I decided to make one. I don't even remember why. I think I just got bored. <laughs> Happens sometimes. Please be a random fight somewhere, anywhere. Or I'll have to change my instance again. Oh. See, it says there's 22 players here. That's not too bad. But since there's no fights, hmm. There's one battle up there. I probably wouldn't make it in time. I'll try. It's the only chance I have. <laughs> Oh, never mind. This character doesn't have transwarp yet. Oh. Safer to just keep changing instances until I get one then. Is that a fight? Please. Red. See these little red things? There's a couple planets you can go to and fight anytime you want, but... The space battles, you typically have to find these random encounters. And if none of the uh, little random battles queue up, then that will probably do it because I can't find any people to play with tonight. That one's gone. Oh, it just ended. Not having much luck with these. That one ended. Wait, that one might have just started. So one ended, one started. And the ship they're actually piloting is a Cation ship, which is cool. I do like that, that they were very thematically built. 
I don't often do that. Most of the time it's like you just drive random ships in the game. That one should be active. Yes, it's a Borg fight. Oh, those can be rough. Especially this character is fairly new. I think it actually was the very last character I made. No, actually the newest character I have is a Klingon character because they did a Klingon event. I never finished it. I think it's at the very beginning of the story. Now it's taking a while to load. There we go. Oh well, at least uh, this ship requires a bit more concentration on my part, but it's more fun to play in the sense of speed. It's a cannon boat. Please get shields. Ooh, that thing is hurting me a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> uh, I just went right through it. That worked too. I think a lot of my controls are goofed up though. Oops, spear. Shoots lots of cannons, though. Oops, probably should have waited to get that more uh, cycled out. The only problem with flying escorts in this game, it's very dangerous. <laughs> You don't have shields very often. But they are lethal because they're direct DDs. They're the damage dealers of the game, so it makes sense. Glass cannons. I gotta heal up a little bit. I did get it shields down. Uh, let's see how much longer that'll last. Oops, I've got an ally, finally. There we go. And it's back. Oops, there's several of us smaller ships trying to fight it. My hills down. <laughs> Being, I spent all my energy zooming around the other side. I did disable that one's engines, I believe. Hello, friend. Are you in need of a hill? Not that I have very many to spare. You know, you're doing okay. I think that one's healing up. Oops. Oh no. 
They use uh, plasma, it burns your ship. That one, I don't think that ability is the one I'm supposed to be using. Oh, I do have the satellite. Okay. More power. I can get by that one, I think, before it blows up. I hope so, because otherwise, then you take the uh, warp core damage. Finally, I can get rid of Plasma Burn. There were a lot of alert lights flashing that whole time. Yeah, when you play a uh, an Escort, you tend to just have to manage your damage by getting out of combat, <laughs> like I just did. You can't just sit there and heal like at the other guys. Ooh, I don't even have any more battery packs. That's not good. Ooh, almost hit that one. No, get away. <laughs> I can take down smaller ships with no problem. The bigger ships are a trouble because the guns are not very upgraded on this. I see my uh, friend over there is having a time of it too, I think. Probably just started. Hey, there we go. We actually leveled from that. Hello, friend. Oh, I, don't know. I thought I had fireworks. Fireworks. Hello, cat. How are you doing, friend? I hope you are having a great day. Get you a shout out. Oop. Spell wrong. <laughs> Have you made progress in your commissions? I think that's what you're doing. It said you're doing some art. I am doing just fine. A uh, little tired. I've got the trucks later tonight, so I'm just relaxing and playing some Star Trek. But welcome in, Raiders. I think most of you know me. I'm Tintera, a night elf trapped in your dimension. I play video games, a variety of them to try and entertain, because while I'm stuck here, I might as well learn about your plane of existence. It is a PG room, so I ask kindly that you refrain from adult language and themes. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, since you've been watching Cat, you probably need a break, so I highly recommend you get up and hydrate and get some foods and stretch. We have just been running around trying to do random fights while we wait for people to queue up in dungeons. And feel free to lurk. So are you doing well then, Cat? Oh. I'm sorry, I missed your stream, friend. I think it came on while I was asleep. I got a little bit of a late start today. Oh, speak with the lieutenant. What? Oh, I got extra duty officers because we leveled. I forgot about that. Uh, this character's still relatively new, so I've just been flying around leveling it. You redeemed give a say nice. <gasps> Who should I say something nice about? Do you need one, cat? Do you want me to say something nice about you or somebody else in the chat? If you meant the other redeem for myself, I will refund your points. It says there's a battle here and I can't see it. 
everyone. <laughs> okay. Our community is a group of wonderful individuals, amazing content creators, and artists who all enjoy one another's company immensely, and we are all lovely people that I have had the pleasure of hanging out with and meeting. I don't know where this battle went. <laughs> I was looking for it, but it just, uh, that one disappeared. Thank you for redeeming the, the Say Something Nice. Let's see. I don't have the uh, TFOs. Yes, you should be able to do them. At least one of them. Featured event. Uh, remain Klingon. Progress 1. Best served cold. I don't know what that one is. What is this one? Well, I queued up for it. I don't know what it is, but we're going to put it in our queue while we're flying around. Maybe I'll get fortunate enough that somebody will join us. Sadly, it was a slow day on Star Trek. There wasn't anybody playing in the random battles. So I tried to go to that one and nobody was there. The new sector is Cells. Okay. Ah, it got me excited. I actually thought somebody was coming into the game. I can't instant warp back to your home planet. Uh, redeemed, be nice. Uh... Let's see, I gotta say something nice about myself. Hmm. Uh, I am a very studious worker. I'm a very determined person, and when I set my sights on something, I will almost always succeed at it because I might struggle but I'm very quick to learn and I study the situation and complete my tasks well, I feel. Oop, that's the new ship right there. I don't have that one yet. I see a lot of people flying it though. It's a good looking one. Going back to space dock. Open up. I need to park here. <laughs> I had thought about just switching over to just chatting because I haven't been able to get very many fights tonight. So I hope everybody else is having a good night. I have to do the trucks later, so there is that as well. See what's going on in the wonderful world of Twitch. And then I will get back to what we were doing. I'm just waiting to see if that fight comes up that we queued for. Do, 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 do. So I do apologize. A little bit of a boring night. A lot of the time when I get on here, I can at least get a couple battles, but there hasn't been much going on today. 
Ooh, I can still use a token. Again, this character is very new, so I think they just got their last uh, free ship. Yeah. Select a ship to command. Hmm. I think that's the tier 5 ships that I get to choose from. It is, because that's why I have a veteran token. Okay. Oh, look, best served cold. Well, I'll hit ready. That would be nice. We've been having trouble getting into random dungeons today. So hopefully, I can at least do one of them. Check your Discord. Sorry, I had streamer mode on, so it didn't even flash. <laughs> Thank you. I just saw that. I don't know if it would let me fix it in the middle. Well, that's embarrassing. It was because of this keyboard. Do, let me think. Thank you, cat. I didn't even see it. Did the battle go? No, it did not. Now it does. Okay, fine. At least there it finally went. I have no idea which one this is. But it was in the current lineup of missions you can accept. Penthe system. Uh, Aurora Penthe? Oh, that's the prison colony. A car of House Volga has a fleet in orbit over Aurora Penthe. His forces have disabled the satellite control stations in orbit. Orbit and, and landed, landed on, on the, the surface. surface. They're freeing prisoners They're there, so we must destroy, reactivate, must destroy the the reactivate the stations. Reactivate the stations. Escaping. Oh, okay. This must be part of the new Klingon storyline. Yep, they it is the Roar Penthe colony. I thought so. Uh, quite the team here. Mostly cruisers, I think one dreadnought. No, it's all cruisers and destroyers. <laughs> Uh, well, we have a lot of damage on our team. Survivability might be an issue. Are all my timers up? Yes. I think all of my stuff is on timer cooldown. That's good, because I don't have a lot of abilities on this character. Uh, it's not like my, my main character. Where I have almost unlimited. So we got to reactivate these towers, huh? Oh, this is going to be a crazy mess. Because I haven't played a uh, escort in the main battle in quite some time. Eh, we didn't do bad. We did have the damage to just push through, so that was nice. Ow! That hurt a lot. I just got a little too close to a warp core explosion. Uh, that's not good. They're not supposed to target us. Oh, I guess we have to take those down. Well, there's one thing this thing is good at. It's taking down targets. Uh, there's nobody over here, though, so, hmm. Oh, they tried to track for me.
I'm just doing what it told me to do, which is, I think... <clears throat> is that one okay? Okay, I thought they were in a tractor beam. They're not. Definitely need to upgrade this thing's guns. Good, we got both of them. I guess that was the point, was to get both of these. What are we fighting now? Uh, little ship. Bird of prey. Well, I'm getting a lot of medals here. That's interesting. I think we have to stay right here or it turns against us. This one's new to me. I don't think I've ever done it. It appears just staying here, though, is the whole point. So I'm going to just sit here and try to defend it, I hope. Oh, no, they took it from us. How did they take it? that uh, infiltrator? I guess that's how they're taking it. You have to stay right on top of it? This wasn't a good ship for a defense mission. Although it does let me zip around and get to the different areas quickly. Oh, okay, because they're tethered to it, so I think it's each one who's tethered is adding to... That's oh, like a weird capture the flag. We gotta chase them off. I get it. Yeah, because there's only one... I'm the only one on this one. So it keeps getting unlinked. So I have to stay pretty close to it. I do have feedback pulse. I thought that's what that was. On the move. commandeered transport vessels that are lifting off from Rua Pente. We're all the more guy will try to take control of the satellites again. Oh, okay. Take out any infiltrators you see. Beam over Beam security over teams security to capture team to disabled capture transports. The transport will rendezvous with the Kitima. Once they're under our control, protect captured transports if you can. The Mokai might try to destroy them to keep their warriors on board out of Oh, geez. Well, there are Klingons. They do do these things. And they're sending battle cruisers. That's nice. Well, I got rid of those two. I don't see an infiltrator here. They must be at the other base. I'm lost in space. Here comes another one. These prisoners are bold, stupid. I don't think I'm fighting prisoners. I think I'm fighting the things trying to capture back the base. I think. Most of the time, you don't want to leave your post once you take up a position in this. All right, I think that one's down. I'm just gonna leave it. Ah, there they are. There's an infiltrator. It's trying to tell me. I'm just not listening. Oh, there's a lot of them.
<laughs> this thing's almost too fast when it's in combat. Zap. Uh, I think I'm hit. Okay, that's the feedback pulse working. Good, I was wondering. They're still capturing it. Oh. Oh, no, that's a transport. To go disable it. Alright, now how do I teleport? Capture the prisoners, you just hit X. Okay. We go with it, I think. If I can't get it, I'll try to guard that one. That one's also escaping. No, you have to come back. Is that other one still shooting at me? Maybe. I need more damage. I can get that. Uh, that one's getting away. Ooh, that's a big one. It didn't take any damage. Gonna have to go on PRC. Thank you, Cat, for the raid. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you have fun in PRC tonight. Oh, I missed it. I didn't get that one. Don't go away. Uh, there we go. I'll just drop this and let it. Hello, Ghost Panda. Welcome, friend. Hide your bamboo. Here comes a panda. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Thank you for the raid, friend. I hope your night is going well and that you had fun on your stream. I'm in a bit of a crazy moment. I'm taking lots of damage. I gotta go. Heal up. Oh. That one's getting away. We're playing Star Trek tonight. Welcome in, friends. I know that you're probably tired because you just got through a stream, so if you need to lurk, get up and stretch and get some foods and hydrate, please feel free to do so. I even have the lurk wave in the rewards. Ow, this is bad. No, I'm gone. I was way too low level for this, I think. Let's see if we can't actually get out of there. My poor ship. <laughs> I'm not doing well in this battle. It's a bit higher level than me. Isn't it fruity? It's a priceless raid message. Uh, it's lazy. Hello, friend. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, you went for five hours? Yes, panda, by all means. Go, go lurk. Get some numbs. Stretch, relax. Thank you, friend, for the raid. Whoa, something hit me for a lot of critical damage that I can't repel. I have no idea what hit me. It was the photon torpedo, I think, through the shields? We won! <laughs> I held out to the last second. You know, it's not bad getting blown up. If you win. <laughs> hmm. Looks like the Mokai have something to say. I'm getting a hail from a car. Patching, Patching you in me. now. Okay, on screen. I think you'll find my virus is more resilient than you imagine. Every dilithium hauler in the system. Okay, we didn't quite win. There's still another one. They're heading for the control stations. Cunning bastards. Turn them into seeking weapons. All pandas idea? 
It's a very, yeah, I agree with Fruity. I love Ghost Panda's raid message. We'll regret it briefly. Eh, kapla. My little ship is so underbuilt. Yes, Rudy, we went from a tank to a uh, glass cannon. So it's kind of to be expected. But also, I'm. Yeah, this ship totally there needs to get healed. Uh, it needs upgrades badly. In this, I think we just destroy those. Ow, did that kill the other one? Almost. Oh, no, 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 pull away, pull away. Yeah, this little ship will just pop. It's right near them. It was not designed to take hits. Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. <clears throat> I don't know. Ah, I just hit the station. That's nice. Dilithium haulers are mean. They blow up. That's not fair. I know. I'm trying to protect this one. It's not going well, sir. <laughs> oh no, no. Ow. I knew it. Well, I couldn't help that one. I flew right up to it. All I can do is get away and then get in and out. I'm trying to hit him as fast as I can, but you get them down so far in damage and uh, yeah, we're not winning now. Staying outside of 5k is not good for the escort because they get up close. Too close and I get blown up. There we go, I got that one blown up. No! Oh, they're trying to protect that. Alright, the shields took that one. Because I actually had shields available, but uh don't think the station is gonna hold. Ow. I know. <laughs> Computer's like Below 25% integrity. I can see the fire coming from the back of our ship. <laughs> oh, is this what was giving our guys the time? There was a warship over here. Chain reaction. I think that helped. When you're higher level, you have abilities like shields and like extra shields. I don't have any of that. Which one? Oh, behind me, Beta. Ah. Barely won. <laughs> I just barely won. Uh, we'll take it. At least we got into one interesting fight today. I just got blown up, of course, but it wasn't bad. Oh, that's right. We were on uh, Earth Space Talk. Yeah. I refined dilithium. Oh, that's the auto refine. 
What can you get there, Nukara? Delta Lines Iconian. I actually need more Iconian, so I'll take those. That's fine. Alright. About to hit two hours. I do have the trucks tonight, so I can't go much later than two hours on a Thursday night. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. I know that the uh, gameplay was a little slow tonight. There wasn't much to do. So I'll have to reevaluate playing Star Trek because... I need to check it, like log in and see what events are going on and how many players are going, probably before deciding to stream it. So what I might do is Thursday nights will be Star Trek if there's people playing, and if there's nobody playing, then we'll do Minecraft or maybe one of the other games that I can do with the community. For right now... I am going to look for somebody to raid so I can eat some dinner and get ready for work. I thank everybody for the raids. Uh, it's very unusual to get three raids, so I thank everybody who did raid us. That was Ghost Panda, uh, Just Cat, and I believe there was another one. I missed one, didn't I? I was just looking. Oh, and Subaru. <clears throat> Yes, I had three raids today. Ghost Panda, Just Catlin, and Subaru. Thank you all for the raids. Hopefully I can accommodate and do that to you guys as well at some point. Let's see which of our friends is on and what games are being played. It's kind of a chill night, so we'll look for something that's relaxing, hopefully. Uh, our favorite Fruity Spruce is about to come on. I could raid them. Uh, actually, it's probably what we'll do. Because <laughs> the whole day is focused on our close friends. So we'll probably go back over to Fruity Spruce's room for the night. I think most of us would be heading there anyway. I want to see what their game is. I don't know what that is. But yes, I'll update later and we'll see what we can get into on Thursday nights. It seems just relying on Star Trek, probably not the greatest thing. Perfectly normal video game, Roundabout? I have no idea what Roundabout is. Uh, but it is Friends Day, and I tend to try and raid my close friends. Uh, the whole day is to celebrate being friends with everybody. Lazy raided with a party of zero viewers. Four raids. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lazy. I appreciate everybody coming in, whether you came on a raid or not. And we're going to go over to Fruity's to continue chatting and hanging out, so I'll be over there if everybody wants to talk. I just need to go get some supper ready. It's a rather long night. I don't know what this game is that we're going to go see, so I will put up my raid warning, because it might be a mature game. I've never seen it before. Put the raid messages up. Oops, not RAID 2. I don't have that one enabled. Okay. If you are under the age of 18, I highly recommend leaving out on this RAID because we're going to an 18 plus room. It's mostly for language. I don't think the game uh, is anything of that nature. Oops, hold on. I want to go there. Okay, I was just making sure their stream didn't go down. <laughs> so at the end screen, we will go on there. Uh, everybody have a wonderful day. And I will see everybody tomorrow morning for Front Mission 3. 
where we continue our Emma or Alessa storyline. I almost said Emma's. We're done with that one. 